Hi, welcome back to Cheap and Green. Today I am participating in a tag. Um, I was tagged by Rachel from Frugal Farmhouse to do the positive tag. Great way to start off spring, thinking positive. So I'm going to jump right in. Question number one is what three things am I good at? Um, I actually had a huge amount of trouble with this one, um, and I had to seek assistance from my family. Um, so that was, uh, it was nice. It was very affirming um, to discover that my daughter thinks that I'm a good cook. So, win. Um, and uh, she also thinks I'm very good at looking after her, which is kind of a, a really sweet thing coming from a 15-year-old girl. So, yeah. Um, I'm pretty good at looking after my uh, zoo. I have a lot of animals and um, I do a pretty good job of looking after them. Um, I've actually considered being a veterinarian, but I think I don't have the heart for it. I think it would be too sort of emotionally hard. So um, just sort of momming my four-legged family is enough for me. And um, I'm a pretty decent writer. I um, have been doing that uh, professionally for a while and uh, I can usually do it very quickly. Um, so what am I at? I've sort of lost track. Um, oh, and I'm also, I'm a good researcher. So if we need something done or we need to know about something, I can usually find some government program or some website or an expert to learn about whatever that is. The second question is, which YouTubers inspire you the most? Um, again, that's a really tough question. How do you narrow that down to any sort of a short list? Um, but I'll do my best. Um, I'll tell you about the ones that I'm really enjoying. I am I'm really enjoying Frugal Green Girl. Uh, she is, um, well, she's, she is living the homesteading dream, right? She's got a property, she's got kids, she's got chickens, um, she's going to get goats, she grows her own food, she homeschools, you know, it's just really clever, all the things that she does to be able to manage, not quite completely independently, but really pretty sustainably. So I've been learning a lot from watching her channel. Another channel I've been really enjoying is one called Exploring Alternatives. Uh, this is a Canadian couple uh, who have, you know, sold off most of their belongings or put whatever they have in storage and um, they have converted a van and they spend their time touring Canada um, and basically being completely self-sufficient. Um, they work part-time when they need to and they are just traveling and meeting lots of people. And I think that's sort of a dream that a lot of us have, you know, like just cut loose from your daily life and go out and explore the world. So it is so fascinating to me that they have actually done it. They've actually done it. And um, also lots of really practical information for how you can make this work. So really, really clever, um, and I really enjoy learning from them. I've been really enjoying watching At Home with Zane. Um, Zane has a really marvelous sense of style. It, everything just looks so beautiful and put together, and he does it on a budget. It's very clever. Often he shops his own house, and it's just a really pretty, but still fairly traditional style. So I really like how crisp his videos are. They're very short, they're very to the point, but you get these beautiful little vignettes. So um, I think I have a lot to learn from Zane. There's several YouTubers that I also just like hanging out with, you know, as a nice break in the afternoon, cup of tea, sitting down and just sort of catching up and uh, having a little break. And those would be uh, Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home. She's, she's got a very calm demeanor and it's just, it's very peaceful to just hang out with her, even though she's got three children and I don't know how she has time to do this, but she's just, she has a very serene presence and I, I love sort of spending time with her. 
Um, I also enjoy Hillary from My So-Called Home. Again, she's got two children and she's renovating a house. And yet it's always so peaceful and she's always so happy and upbeat. And it's just wonderful seeing, you know, her decorating choices for this new space. And I also really enjoy Rachel from Frugal Farmhouse. Thanks for the tag. Um, great sense of style. Everything is just so beautifully put together. Question number three is, what three things am I excited about? And obviously I'm really jazzed about spring and summer. We had a snowstorm two days ago um, and it was crazy. It was like this much on the top of the car and there was ice underneath and it was defrosting and scraping and boots and coats. But today I was out without a coat. So Canadian weather is nuts. So I am really looking forward to predictable warm weather and putting my boots away and getting outside and getting in the garden. I'm really determined my garden's going to be amazing this summer. It will. Amazing. Um, the other thing I'm excited about is my new um, antique booth. I'm really excited about that. I've been putting a lot of work and effort into trying to make it look really beautiful and inviting. So I am hoping that that will be a really fun hobby for me to do. So the third thing I'm excited about is um, we've actually planned a family trip. We are going to go to uh, Point Pelee National Park for the Festival of Birds. We have friends that live in the area, so we'll be able to visit them as well, which is always really nice because we don't get to see them very often. And then we're going to take the ferry across to um, Point Pelee and just walk around and enjoy all the birds. And if you're not familiar, Point Pelee is actually um, the narrowest point across the Great Lakes. So all the migratory birds cross at Point Pelee National Park. So if you're there during migration season, which is now, um, you're gonna see all the birds come through and actually also the butterflies as well. So we hopefully will be able to see some monarch butterflies. So we're really looking forward to that. I've never been and I'm totally excited about it. Question number four is what do I do to relax? Um, well, I sort of already said that what I like to do is actually watch YouTubers with my, you know, my cup of tea and maybe a cookie and just, you know, take a breather from the craziness of the day. Um, the other thing I really like to do is walk my dog. Um, it's just, especially in the morning, I really like to walk her around 6.30 in the morning. No one's up yet. It's really quiet except the birds. The birds are totally, you know, they're almost too loud. It's crazy how busy they are right now, but it's wonderful to just be out and just enjoy all of that and not be in a rush and just take our time. I've also taken up yoga. Um, I started, I've been sort of dabbling in it, um, but in January I did the 30 day yoga challenge and it was, it was hard, but it was really good and I'm trying to keep it up now. Um, not necessarily every day because it's sometimes hard to put an hour of yoga into your day. But um, if not that, then at least maybe a few minutes of meditation and I find that it really helps sort of calm me down and get my blood pressure under control. Final question is, who would I like to tag? And um, I've got five people. Um, I'd like to tag Zane from At Home With Zane and uh, Frugal Green Girl. I think her name is Rachel. Not sure, correct me if I'm wrong. Erin, um, Gentle Thrifty Mama. And I should have said I really enjoy Erin's channel as well. Again, she's my afternoon treat, cup of tea, go-to person. Um, it's always something around here. Really enjoy that channel, very real. I really especially like seeing her dogs wandering around. like that a lot. Um, and also Hillary from My So-Called Home. She may already have been tagged, but uh, if not, just wanna make sure we cover off Hi Hillary on that. So I wanted to thank Rachel from My Frugal Farmhouse for tagging me on this. It's so nice to be remembered and also what a wonderful opportunity to think of all sorts of positive things. So thank you, Rachel. And thank you for watching today. And if you're enjoying the show, please do subscribe and I will see you next time.